Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. In today's video guys, we'll be working here on a Ford 3.5 engine. This one will include the Lincoln MKX, uh, Ford Edge, uh, like Ford Flex, Taurus, quite a few vehicles. We'll show you how to remove and replace throttle body. So stay with us guys, uh, uh, it will be a very helpful video. In the meantime, okay, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car and engine, so please subscribe. Our goal is to save you as much money as we can here at the shop by teaching you how to fix your car for free. So, let's start on the process now and see what needs to be done. So what do you need to do first guys? Okay, right here you can see this is the MAF sensor that we'll need to disconnect so we can lift that thing up. There is one red thing on the bottom, okay, you need to slide it back, then press down here, okay, and disconnect the sensor. Now you can see this is the safety lock that we need to pull, otherwise it's not going to work. When it's locked it's like uh, going forward, so you need to push back, then press down, okay, right here. It's going to activate that clip and you pull it out. We need to remove the air filler box, okay, open it on this side, slide it towards the left, pull it up a little bit. After that, we need to get a, okay, we need to get a screwdriver, okay, we need to get one hose clamp, loose, okay, back there, this clamp right here, okay, with a, uh, we'll be using a flat screwdriver now flathead screwdriver. All the tools guys and parts that we use will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So get it loose, make sure it's loose enough otherwise you can damage your intake boot. Okay and now we need to disconnect that hose right here. Check this thing out now how you do that. Okay you need to come on this side like that. Okay and pull it out okay like that so this is guys the cover that came out of it now we need to proceed with the next step okay so after that we forgot to mention there is one more hose right here just pull it out this is for the booster and you can go ahead and pull the whole thing out of there and we can proceed with the next step now so we need to find a socket now okay that's going to fit the throttle body bolts and uh, you can see now right here, okay, we have one bolt here, one, two, then we have three, here four bolts that we need to remove with 8 millimeter socket. And uh, after that we need to see there is one bolt underneath, I believe, so we're going to check in just a second to see if we need to do anything there. So 8 millimeter socket, remove these four bolts. Okay, perfect. Now, okay, this is the ball there. Second, third. We have a video how to clean throttle body as well. Check it out. It can improve your fuel economy and get rid of engine light codes and also improve the vehicle performance okay now we need to pull it down okay that connector here you can see that safety pin the red one needs to come up like that and after that you need to press down right here okay and just pull it out by pressing down there okay you can see you release the clip. Sometimes if it's stuck you need to push the whole clip in, then press in, then pull it out. Okay, just like that. So that's how you guys remove the throttle body. Uh, check out the video how we are going to clean that thing because you can see how nasty it is. It will be on the channel, check it out. Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time.